Jake. Hello. What cake can you eat in the bath? Um. Uh. A da. A sponge cake. Oh, fucking kill me. Is this going to be the start of every single episode? Yes. <laughs> they get better, trust me. Right. They get better. Okay. Um. Right. So we're starting out series two, boys. Woo! Um. Obviously, we're going to start with the mini, the mini episode, Born Again. Ah. Uh. Right. So. Um, Hopefully you guys watched the whole of that recap. That took a fucking long time. Oh yeah, we just got done finishing the overview for yeah. series one, and that was like three hours. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, anything you want to say about Born Born Again before we get into it? No, I'm looking forward to it. You ready to go? Yeah. Let's ready to see yeah. good old David? Yeah, let's do it. Right. Cool. Awesome, isn't it? your initial um, thoughts on that? The Doctor's definitely different. Yeah. Um, it definitely gives you a different mood and a different vibe and like, I feel like Rose, I'm a bit just like, the fuck is yeah. going on? Yeah. Like, I'm a bit concerned, I'm a little bit worried, I'm wondering who the hell this is. <laughs> I'm intrigued though, mm. because obviously it's still the Doctor. Yeah. Um, I definitely, like, you can definitely, re like, see, you, you're definitely watching this through Rose's eyes. Yes. Yeah, it feels like watching from the beginning all over again. Yeah, it? it feels like a very old doctor -y, like, from what I've gathered yeah. from, from the clips we've watched. Yeah. Yeah. It feels like a very old doctor -y vibe. Yeah, otherworldly and weird. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, so, yeah, what did you think of the 10th Doctor in this mini-sode? He's, he's a fucking... Energetic little bastard. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Good. Yeah. Bouncing and hopping and shit. Yeah. Yeah. You just nearly died, mate. <laughs> Take a chill pill. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, oh, you have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> of course, this is the moment that we introduce a new uh, segment to yes. the show. Yes. And that is the David Tennant cocaine meter. <laughs> oh, the what? The David Tennant cocaine meter. Is he known for t doing cocaine? No, 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 no. I'm not being serious. Oh, okay. I'm just off. <laughs> so, every episode... I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past him. Every episode, we are going to review how much cocaine David Tennant was snorting. <laughs> and there are four degrees. There is sober. There is sniffing. Yeah. Was it snorting? Or sniffing? Sniffing. Uh, sniffing's a nicer word than snorting. Yeah, sniffing's the second one. The third degree is Scarface, which is a reference to... The movie Scarface, where he's got the mountain of cocaine in front of him. Mm -hmm. And the fourth degree is Fear Her, 
which you have no idea what we're talking about, but you will find out oh dear. what theatre is. Yep. So, how much cocaine was he on this? I think he was on a good solid sniff. Oh, okay. Yeah, it wasn't long enough for us to... Yeah. Um, like, he was on a sniff. He was on a sniff for most of it, and then suddenly, when he started vomiting, um, vomiting regeneration energy, then a little bit of Scarface came out. Yeah. Just a little bit, and then he hopped around. Well, I think ultimately we have to go with um, sniffing, right? Yeah. yeah, I think that's a fair yeah. statement. Right. Um... I think it's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> Cocaine. Uh, what did you think of Rose Tyler? Um, she's spooked. Yeah. I'm spooked. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, as a mini mini so, it did did the job. It was a little bit of intrigue. It was good. It was a good little bridge into the Christmas yes. thing. Yeah. yeah. Into, into into Christmas. Mm. Um, so it, it's the Christmas episode. Is that Series 2, Episode 1. Series 2, Episode 0. Okay. Um, some people would say it's Episode 1 because on Netflix I think it is Episode yeah. 1. It is kind of, but in terms of, like, the way I see it is it's it's the 2005 Christmas special. Yeah. Right. And it's what bridges Series 1 and 2 together. Yeah. But it's its own little episode. Yeah, but if you had to, but in terms of, like, the box sets, like, the DVDs, um, Christmas Invasion is Series 2, Episode 1. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, I mean, there isn't a lot to say, but what did you think of the plot? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, there isn't really a plot. Yeah. And there's not meant to be a For a mini episode, though, did you like it? Yeah. Uh, uh, I, mean, I did not like it, but I mean, it's a mini episode. I'm not going to fucking dissect. Yeah. Um, there's not much to dissect yeah. anyway. It's, it's just, mainly just as you were saying, just being frightened. Like, yeah. mm. what? This is a complete 180 yeah. from what Eggleston was. Exactly. Yeah. This and is, yeah. I like that. Yeah. I like yeah. that. Which is what, when change happens on the show, it should be. It yeah. should just be the same thing. Oh, yeah. So, um, you know, when um, when Hartnell turns to Trout, yes. Trout, like, Hartnell is a very stiff, like, I'm an old man and I know everything. Yeah. And then Trout's just like, I'm not going to pay attention to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna blow my recorder and read my diary. And they're like, Doctor! Sense. Doctor! We have to go outside! And he's like, hmm? Hmm? Yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so change of personality is a very big part of regeneration. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, do you look at any any doctor compared to their subsequent one? Or, like, or their next one? It's like, night and day. Oh, yeah, the there's time. one in particular. Oh, God! Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh Jesus. Um, right. <laughs> so... We've got a classic clip. Yes. yes. It is from the episode Robot. <laughs> and it is No Doctor, I'm the Doctor. Get, get, get. <laughs> of course. Obvious dress. It's yes, not fit. I'm the Doctor. No Doctor, I'm the Doctor, and okay. I say that you're not fit. You may be a Doctor. But I'm the doctor. The definite article, you might say. Of course I'm fit. All systems go. <laughs> <laughs> Heart speed? I say, I don't think that could be. Oh, a good uh, fast, uh, are they? Well, that's going to be the two sugars one. And your yeah. body's like a new house. Takes a little bit of time. Set me. <sighs> I think the nose is a definite improvement. <laughs> <laughs> What do you say to the ears? Well, I really don't know. Well, of course you don't. Why should you? You're a busy it's man. Like you. Yeah, I've no, we've, we've discussed this. Yeah. Here or there. I have the same face shape. Yeah, but it's not true. I should be I feel sick. Well, two, three, four, Most iconic doctor. Yeah. He's fucking hilarious. Yeah. Not for the scarf. Right. 
Yeah. Come on! Come on! There's no such word. What did you think of that clip? That was pretty funny. That's that's him in his first story, so he's just regenerated. Right. And he's like, oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> he's so quirky. Yes, yeah. he's... Oh, yeah. 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 Um, yeah, I fucking, I love Robot. It's brilliant. It's yeah. like one of those ones where the plot's not very good, but it's so good yeah. because of Tom Bates. Yes, he just yeah. owns the screen. Yeah, oh my god, I love Robot. Um, right, so, Born Again was written by Russell T. Davies, uh, directed by Euros Lin, and composed by Murray Gold, sort of. Yeah, I mean, um, it was just recycled. Yeah. yeah. Uh, pretty standard team. Um, I think Russell was just sort of... Um, oh, th- by the way, this um, this episode was written um, as a children in need yes. special for the charity, uh. and it served as the prequel for The Christmas Invasion. And it was shot a lot more after than the Christmas Invasion. Like, right. It's a shot like way, way further on. Yep. Um, but they, they decided, like I think it was near the last minute, Russell T. Davies decided, oh, it'd be nice if we did something for charity. Yep. And <coughs> giving yeah. them the post-regeneration yeah. scene yeah. is a very big deal. Yeah, yeah. And I like that. I like that they did that. Yeah. Um, Talk to you, yeah, tell yeah. a few things to children and me. Um, I have to say, there are some technical difficulties with this episode. Yeah. I think, they, I don't think it was very rough. It seemed like most of it was the first take. Yeah. Um, the one thing that I noticed is that like when when you have um, the usual episodes, you can only hear the special sound effect of the TARDIS going, yeah. but in this one you could actually hear the physical like du- like sound of yes. real life where it goes, right. duh, yeah. duh, duh. and in some shots it was in it and some shots it wasn't. Yeah. It was very jarring. So the more I watched Born Again, the more I noticed the technical It seems very was. rushed. Yeah, it's very rushed. Yeah. But I think it's saved by the performance. Yes, the yeah, oh yes, because David Tennant just bursts with energy. Yeah. <laughs> um, right, so the musical track we're going to be listening to is what would have been in the Rose video. Right. Um, but because we didn't do music back then, um, we'll do it now. So it's Westminster Bridge, which plays in the very first scene of Rose. All right. This is like, this is Murray Gold's debut song. It's like a post film song. Yeah! I just picture the doctor on a surfboard. <laughs> it's very similar to this, this is really weird to say, but it's very similar to the soundtrack of Johnny English. Yeah. Like, slightly weird? Yeah, it's like a, like a slight parody of Bond. Yeah. Fast moving. Yeah, it's very catchy. Yeah. Um, what did you think of it? Like, because that is Murray Gold's debut song for the show. Mm. Uh, he opens with that. I mean, most of his music is. It just seems like he's such a very diverse um, composer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, you, he can throw you a track like that, or he can throw you a, a ballad from yeah. Father's Day. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like so, or a sweeping, like, opera almost a Dalek. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. I don't know, it just it just proves that he's he's a, a very talented yeah. man. What it, what it does for me is in Rose the episode is it gets me like gets me going yeah. straight away. Well, one thing I quite like about it is, is it is it starts quite sweeping and big, yeah. and then I just because I can picture I can picture the alarm waking up. Rose is in the bed. She had her bed in and then something, yeah. and then, yeah. and then, yeah. which is going to do her daily stuff. I just that music and that imagery is yeah. stuck with me and like they're synonymous in my head and just. Yeah. It's a very wake up in the morning kind yeah. of song. That bass line is. Yeah, because it's, it's it's it starts almost like as if we're in Rose's dream almost like this. I want to be doing bigger things. Yeah. Like it's like her frame of mind, and then suddenly the alarm goes yeah. off. She wakes up. Fuck, I'm late. Yeah, and also that one scene represents what Ru- Russell wanted to do with the show. Yeah. It's like you. It's like how are you going to start Doctor Who? Okay, we're going to zoom down to the Earth and have a normal girl go yeah. to her job. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. How do we make that interesting? Yeah. Marty! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do we know what, what Marigold had done? What did Marigold do before Doctor Who? Yeah. I, I don't know. Uh, the only, the only thing I know he did otherwise was Hoodwinked 2. And he also did a movie, a great comedy, the British version, called Death in a Funeral, which is seriously underrated. It's a great comedy. Cool. Just, just. 
Give me that out. Okay, so some trivia about Born Again. Um, it was filmed very last minute, long after the Christmas Invasion finished shooting. Mm -hmm. It's noticeably jarring that the direction and Billy herself look noticeably different. There is different lighting and she had to wear hair extensions for continuity. Yeah. So she had actually gotten a haircut um, before, like, so after Christmas Invasion, before Series 2, she got, um, she got like, a haircut. But for this scene, she had to wear hair extensions, extensions for continuity. Mm -hmm. And I notice it. Yeah. Because of the front of her hair is quite short. Um, it's also low budget and there's noticeable studio noise. It's strange because there was a polished audio version used for charity special, but the DVD version has the rough cut. Weird. So that's the version that I have, is the rough cut. Yeah. Which is very strange. Um, the mini episode aired the same day as Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. <laughs> And was out in the cinemas, with Tennant having the same hairstyles and similar costume and erratic behaviour in both. Interesting. It's yeah. so strange. Yeah. And he uses the same voice as well. Same voice yeah. too, he's like, Chew! Yeah. Woo. Um, Rose's suspicion that he might be an imposter mirrors when Ben Jackson said the same about the second Doctor. Yep. In Power of the Daleks. Yeah. It's like, very similar dialogue. Ratings. This got 10.7 million viewers. Wow. Isn't that the highest of the whole... Um, I don't think it's higher than Rose. Okay. okay. I'm not sure. I have to check that. Because I thought, I thought Rose was around like 9.5 or something. No, it was 10 something. Okay. okay. But yeah, it got 10.7 million views. Jesus so Christ. That's... So what does that say to you? That, does that say that Series 2 has got a lot more viewership behind it now? Or is it just because yeah, it's a special? More hype. I would say... Probably say more hype. Yep, mm -hmm. definitely. Mm -hmm. um, it's. I think the the attraction of watch this to see the new Doctor yeah. is like you can yeah. instantly get people watching. Yeah. Um. Okay. I feel like, uh, was this released around Christmas? Near Christmas? It was before. About a month before, I think. Okay. Yeah, I know. I'm pretty sure the Goblet of Fire came out like end of November, start of December. Yeah. Right. So yeah. Um. Okay. All things considered, don't. We're not because I'm about to say um, to do the conclusion and rating out of two. Yeah. Don't rate it against like the regular episodes. Yeah. Create a new category. Right. For mini episodes and rate it based off that. Okay. Conclusion. Um, for what it's trying to do, it does it perfectly. Um, in terms of setting up the the next episode, bridging bridging the end of series one to the start of series two. Yeah. Um, giving more of like a uh, um, insight into what happens after the Doctor regenerates as yeah. well, and like, and um, uh, explaining more things, I think is definitely something that it, it it was the purpose of it, and it did. It. We really needed that, yeah. and because of that, I would probably just do like a, I don't know, like a six out of ten. Yeah, it's not, it's not. And it's not mind-blowingly good, but it's not like, mm. not like I didn't enjoy it. It was just a good bridge. Yeah. It was a nice, it was a nice, here's David Tennant. Yeah. yeah. He's on cocaine. Yeah. <laughs> enjoy him. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So you give yours. Well, the thing is about it, in my head, the, the best sort of thing I can do is compare it to the sort of opening 10 minutes of every other regeneration story. Kind of oh, like, okay. when it, yeah. post regeneration story rather, when like, and for this specific story, rather than comparing it to other minisodes, because there are some minisodes, one in particular, that we'll get to. Oh, yes. we'll... <laughs> but uh, as, as a sort of post regeneration thing, it, it's very sort of through the motions in terms of like doubting he's the doctor and then him trying to say something that they did together to prove he's the same man and that kind of thing. It's, it's all very formulaic, but it's fun. It's very fun. It's simple and the fact that it was for children in need, you can't really fault it for that. Yeah. Um, in terms of the rush production value and everything. But the David Tennant is so charismatic and for me as someone who has grown up with David Tennant, um, it's quite special, even though it was shot later, it's quite special to see his sort of his first moments, mm -hmm. which is just it's really cool. Yeah. So probably about a seven out of ten. Okay. Yeah. Um when I was a kid, I probably would have given this close to a 10 because I absolutely loved yeah. it. But over time, I think I've started to notice some of the um, issues yeah. with the, um, with like in terms of just the uh, production values. Yeah. And there's a little bit of dialogue that's a little bit off. 
Um, but I think that's down to it being rushed. Yeah. But um, a lot of my scaling has to do with comparing to other episodes. So I've sort of got my own little realm of the mini episodes and um, I scale them a certain way. Um, I pretty much agree with you, um, but I'm going to give it an 8. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Very solid start for DT. DTOC. DT. Oh, yes. <laughs> DTOC. Yes. Thanks to RTD. <laughs> yes, true. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, great. It's so great. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm going to read out a comment. Right. Um, this is from Joanne Wilkinson. Evening, Joanne. Hi, Joanne. Another great reaction and discussion. Love you guys. I think you should watch Torchwood. It does add a lot to the experience. I've never watched SJA myself, so that's up to you. I will pretty much watch anything you upload. Thanks, Jerome. That's, that's really awesome. sweet. Um, as for S Sarah Jane Adventures, I think we are yeah. we're planning on doing that. Yes. Um, for reasons that I'm sure most of you are aware. Um, yeah. But yes, thanks for the lovely comment. Mm. Even though it wasn't directed at me, but yeah. Oh, you're part of this channel. Oh, thank you. Hey, you're just not available. No, yeah, I'm a busy man. <laughs> Would you like to see more mini episodes? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> they're cool. They're cool little ones. I think I would like it better if it was more lore-based. Oh! Okay! Yes, yes, um... Okay, you, yes, you, yes. you, 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 you asked okay. all the right questions. Yes. I just had a mad no question. I just had a fucking... Yeah. Alright, let's yes. just we're, we're, we're not going to speak in code, we're just going to move oh. on. <laughs> what? There's two in particular. Oh, yes. yes. Anyway, let's forget about that for like six months. Yep. Um, <laughs> does this excite you for the next episode? Yep. You, re you, you, you really want to see the Christmas invasion after seeing the Born Again? <laughs> no, nah, man. <I> don't <laughs> um, yeah, sure. Um, I don't know. I don't like Christmas themed things though. So I'm a little bit. Yeah. Well, neither do I. But we'll see. Okay. Well, we will see you for the Christmas Invasion. Cheerio!